Praise God. Praise God. I tell you guys, I thought I was done. Praise God. But let me tell you something. I was in the restroom. God said, you're not done. One more. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. That's why I love fasting. I love fasting. And I pray that I truly do what he's called me to do. And that means every day having a lifestyle. Not just, you see, and I, I, I'm transparent. I can't talk. I'm transparent on purpose because I want you to be better. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When I was in Sacramento, I fasted all the time. I didn't have this weight on me because I knew the anointing. I knew the calling. I knew the warfare. I don't know what happened. <sighs> Laziness. Whatever. I don't know what it was. So now he's training me again. You need to get back there even heavier than you were before, Deanna, to show my people that's the only way they're going to make it. So I'm in the restroom, and he said, you got one more to do. And I'm like, God, I, I, feel, I, I feel tired because a lot of people don't understand. When you're under anointing, and this is God for real, this is the spiritual of God. This ain't Deanna. This ain't no flesh just coming on here to be seen. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I just said. So that weighs on your body. God said, you got one more to do. One more. And I felt it. So let me just go ahead and tell y'all it's going to be hard. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. And this is something he won't let me do. It's called from humble beginnings as a servant to a commercialized celebrity star of the world. Y'all not going to like this one. I'm going to tell you that now. And, and go ahead and share. And, and, and you can tell them I said it. I don't care. Remember when I was in Hollywood, I'm going to start with my story. And I was had the had the you know had the opportunity to cater for Stevie Wonder, and I'm not kidding. I got in places where I didn't understand how. A lot of people ask me. I never forget. And I'm not lying about anything. People ask me. They say, "How did you have favor? And how did you get in places? I've been in LA six months, and I got in places where people have been trying to get in five, six years. But the devil had a plan. Oh, come on, somebody! I hear that song. But I had a praying grandmother, cause I lost my mind. I I don't know what happened. Because I love God. But I experienced it, so I know what they go through. Still not an excuse, right? Y'all, I didn't want to go to church no more. I started drinking. I started fornicating. I don't know what happened. But it happened. It was like I was getting in with them. And, and the Spirit was overtaking me. It's like I was forgetting God. I was forgetting what I went there for. I was forgetting my foundation. Now let me come back here. So, no, no, let me finish that. So, they had, oh, yes, they call handlers. Not even knowing. I'm thinking this woman is my friend. I'm not going to say her name, but she was a star. She worked with Whitney. She worked, I'm not kidding. I got in places, y'all. Y'all don't hear me. I'm serious. So, anywho, one day she told me, she said, you ready? And I'm like, ready for what? She said, I want you to imagine this. She said, I want you to act like you're taking your tailbone and I want you to meditate and connect with the bottom of the earth. Y'all, I ain't going to lie. I had to like a little kid. I said, I won't be your friend no more. I start tripping. There it was. You going to be one of us? You'll never have to want for nothing. You ain't got to be. You ain't got to, you ain't got to do nothing. And it was tempting. Because everybody wants something. Ain't nobody want to be begging nobody. Or let's talk for real up in here, up in here. But I couldn't do it. And that next day, i never forget. God gave me a dream because I'd be lying if I said I didn't think about it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have to want for nothing no more. I ain't got to worry about nothing. I'll be set for life. Y'all think I'm playing? I lined up before God. So I was thinking about it. Even though I told her I'm getting out of here, I was still thinking at night. So God said, let, let me get her mind right. i never forget this, y'all. Hallelujah. This was in 20, what, Lord, was it? 9, 10, one of them. So I had the dream, and the dream was this. It was like it was like I was trading in my soul for fame. And God said, you want this, Tiana? Because you can have it. He said, this is what you want? And then he showed me what would happen to me after I get it. And it was pretty much like what they did to Michael Jackson, Prince, what they do to all the big icons, whether, or even the... Y'all think this is a game, huh? Y'all don't want me for real up in here. The stuff I know, that's why them people be after me. Think it's a game. I know stuff. I know stuff. They, the only reason they ain't kept me yet because it's not my time. God won't let them. But they don't like me because I know their secrets. I've been there. I did some things. I, I'm, not a, I'm not proud. Of, I, I know what I'm talking about. 
But that morning, that dream, that dream scared the living heck out of me. So that next morning, I got up crying. I said, God, no, I don't want to sell my soul. Please, God. And God said, well, you know, you done did some things. So I repented. And, oh, Lord, I, I'm getting a little emotional because it's like when you tell a story, you go back to it, bro. He said, now you're going to lose everything because you know what you did, how you did what you did. I said, okay, God. And I repented. And I lost everything. I had to move back to Sacramento. But that's when the Spirit of God started coming on my life for real. I'm not lying. That's when I started really feeling the presence and the power. I didn't know it was real. Because you see, a lot of people have a form of godliness. They just worship him with their mouth. But, the, but, but when you get real, hallelujah, he'll wake you up at 2 o'clock in the morning. When they get real, you'll cry for no reason. When they get real, hallelujah, you love God and you don't care what nobody say. Talk about me, baby. I don't care. He's real. So I know what I'm talking about. So, so let, let, let's get to 2021. I see my brothers and sisters. And I challenge you again. Go look at the before picture and look at the now picture. Prophet is Juanita Bynum. Bishop Jakes. Kirk Finger. I'm a name of, I'm a name of you. I don't care what you say. You can get mad if you won't. Cause some of y'all, y'all love them more than God. You heard what I said up in here. Some of you new artists, go look at the before picture and now. See, when you humble, when you start with God, you humble. Because you just want God. It's all right to look nice. Don't get it twisted, but I just want God. I just want to do right by God. I'm not saying we're perfect because we're going to miss it sometime, but I still want God. I'm going to repent. I'm going to come back to God. But the enemy, he dangles that carrot. Well, well we have to change your image. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Not understanding. If it changed on the outside, it changed on the inside. Come on, somebody. I'm preaching up in here. It's called commercialization. We're going to transform you to a star. There it goes. Not understanding. It's called the power of agreement. So as soon as you say yes, you just agree to trade in your flame for fame. Go ahead. Make me over. That's not how God started with you. That's not how that start started. So they changed their hair. I saw it with Prophetess Juanita about Don't play with me. Remember when she had the short hair? No more sheets? Powerful, huh? When she started getting commercialized. And, and look, hold on. Let me do my disclaimer. I love everybody I name. I don't hate nobody. But I don't care if it's me. Tell the true shame the devil. So anyway. The hair. The fake nails. The makeup. And I wear a little. I don't wear a lot, but I wear a little. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't wear like I used to. Go look at my old videos. Because I don't ever want to be somebody different before you. Because, and, and let me tell you how dangerous it is. I'm not bashing nobody. I'm trying to tell y'all how the spirit works and how real it is. So if you allow them to change your outside, then you also agree to change your inside. So what start happening? Well, when you start getting all dialed up, you start getting pompous. Arrogant. There's no one spirit that works together. They all work together. Just like if you have the spirit of love, you have the spirit of joy. If you have the spirit of greed, you have the spirit of selfishness and pride. There it goes. You start getting prideful. Talking to people crazy, acting crazy. And God said before pride, it comes to fall. Don't you understand that God is trying to yank people cold in this, in this, in this um, last days? You went too far. I'm going to say something. There is no such thing as a star in the kingdom of God. You are a liar before God. There is no such thing as a celebrity. You are a liar before God. Okay. Let me go ahead another way. Because I, you know, I, I kind of hear it in the spirit. Or oh, she just jealous. Or she, whatever. Let me flip that thing. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Made himself of no reputation. What you talking about? Huh, Willis? Stop playing with God. Stop playing yourself. Don't you understand that when you start with God, it's humbleness because it's God? And then when you get commercialized or anything else, and we're not just talking about celebrities here. You two on the job. You didn't got that promotion. You got that house. You got that car. Oh, you thought I was just talking about the, the stars. Oh, I'm talking about you too, brother, sister. Sitting up there acting like you all that. Are you serious right now? One thing 
God allow to happen in your life or shut you down. Hallelujah. Stop playing with God. That's pride. That's arrogance. That's why we don't love each other no more than body of Christ. Because you're looking down on each other. Because this one don't have a Range Rover. Or this one don't drive this. Or this one don't have a house. Or... That's why God have kept me so humble. Let me tell you something. And I, I'm not being ugly. The money that have came through my, my hands. And that's why the people that close by me, some of them say some ugly things to me. You could hear this. You could hear. God won't let me do what other people do. I can't go buy no house on a hill, baby. I had a Mercedes. He made me sell that. Say, I ain't gonna lie. I was tripping. I don't know. I just start tripping. He said, sell it. I was in, I was in Sacramento. I got to sell them. I ain't gonna lie. I brought that Mercedes. <laughs> I started getting up at 2 o'clock in the morning just to see if somebody was on it. One day I heard God say, sell it. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm real with mine. God say, sell it because it got you. I cried, but I sold it. And I guess you say, well, that's not everybody's story. No, 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 it is everybody's story. Whatever gets you to compromise your walk, your talk, your actions, it's not of God. Don't play with me up in here today. People have compromised, said God, because you're commercialized. You're not humble anymore. You all that. You think you got your 40 acres and a mule. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying up in here. Get mad if you want to. And the enemy knows it. That's why he does it. Yeah, I'll give you this. Because you're going to give me something in return. You know what you're going to give me in return? In instead of that humbleness, uh, you're you going uh, you to get pride. You see, he's an exchanger. You think he's just a blesser. He's an exchanger. You give me this, I'm going to take that. You give me this, I'm Oh, they ain't ready for me up in here, up in here. Don't like y'all don't see what I'm saying. I only go a little far. Like, I need some more headshots. But you'll never see me. And, and I used to. Sometimes I come on her dress. I like to keep it humble. I got clothes up in there, nice stuff. I got, I got everything. I, I'm blessed, and I'm not trying to brag or nothing. I like to come on here raw and uncut because I don't ever want to get prideful and thinking I'm all that. Y'all get on my nerve. It's because you can imagine how you get on Jesus' nerve and God's. Arrogant. All about money, honey, and funny. You finna get exposed. That's why I got up here and say, God is getting ready to expose you because he said, tired of you benefiting off of him. And you don't even serve him. You heard me. I'm the server today, baby. I'm serving you. You've been served. You know how they serve people with court law? You've been served. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody playing with y'all. Because you are fraudulent. Sitting up there j j just making people think that you. And the crazy part is, whatever spirit it is, that's what spirit you receive. Y'all sitting up there listening to these fraudulent people. And you wonder why you're dreaming bad things. You wonder why things are happening. What have you allowed to attach to you? What spirit said God? Y'all think this again. This is about your soul and your spirit. You're not supposed to let anybody. I don't care if it was me. If they taint it, I can't listen to you. I love you now from a distance. But I'm not listening to you because you're going to take my ear gate, my eye gate, my mouth gate. And all the gates. Not like y'all don't know what I'm saying. Private park gates. Oh, y'all, I didn't know he was going to make me do this. But I got to be obedient. I heard him say it, so I have to be obedient. My God, my God. That's what I'm telling y'all. Y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know how I, how I feel when I have to say things. But I have to say it. God, 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 it'd be hard. Because I love people. But I'm going to say what, God, what I just heard God say. I don't know why God keep calling this man out, but, and I don't hate nobody. I love everybody, y'all. But guess what name I just heard? Jamal Bryant. Y'all go sit up in that church and knowing what that man do. And then y'all wonder why there's spirit on your sisters, on your brothers, on your children. I'm just saying what God said. It don't matter who get mad or who don't like me. I don't even care no more. It don't matter. I don't hate nobody. I'm not hating I just heard it in the spirit. What am I supposed to do? Not say what God say? God just wants you to know, stop playing this game. Repent. When you have a problem, you're supposed to step down and let God deal with you. That's any of us. No matter who you are, sit down and let God restore you. Let God heal you. Let God deliver you. But you know what we want to do? We want to stay preaching, stay teaching, stay reaching. Tainting up everybody we come in contact with. That's how Bishop Ed alone died. <laughs> y'all think this a game. Y'all acting like y'all don't see 
what God has allowed. And it's nothing compared to what he's getting ready to allow. I've said it every video. Judgment is in the house of God. I'm scared. And I ain't even doing nothing. Some of y'all going to listen to this and get mad. <laughs> Honey, don't get mad. Get saved. For real. Stop playing. Stop playing with God. Stop playing with God. I'm begging y'all. Because when when this thing starts, it's going to be like a, a landfall. Y'all going to see prominent men. I'm telling y'all what thus said the Lord. Write it down. Some people like to write. Write it down. Prominent men and women of God. God is getting ready to take them and expose them. And, and, they gonna, and some of them are going to die as examples. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, God, is, he's not playing. This is getting ready to happen within these last two months and all of next year. This ain't no game. God said, I'm coming back for a spotless church. And you haven't been to church for a long time. Who did beguile you? I'm going to tell you what we did. We let Satan in. And now he's running the church. Yes, he is. But God said, nay, because that's my church. People are getting ready to get exposed on a level you have not seen. I'm going to say it again. On a level you have not seen, said God. Everything that glitter ain't gold. Everything that preach ain't God. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Commercialization. And y'all love to have it so. You heard me. Y'all love to have it so. <laughs> I remember um, this was a person in New York. Um, somebody, actually a prominent person, had shared my video with another prominent people. Uh, she's too contrary for me. Oh, and she's not even dressed. And, you know, <laughs> I started laughing because, you know, I'm silly like that. You saw all that and didn't even hear the spirit of my spirit. You heard what I say. That's what we're supposed to do. What is the spirit? What, what is the spirit? When you meet someone, Father God, show me their spirit. When you listen to someone, show me their spirit. We don't even do that no more. And the Bible says, test the spirit by the spirit. We don't do that no more. We just look, oh, they look good. They look like they got money. Don't let them be handsome and pretty up on here. I've been saying it for years. And y'all going to get mad. I don't know why God go on here, but I'm saying everything he said. They say Marcus Rogers. I keep telling y'all that young man is not. He just need to be saved. That's all I'm going to say. You see when they get ready to happen to him? All y'all going to be like, I thought, I thought, I thought. You didn't ask God. Stop playing. Because most of y'all follow people because they look good. Oh, let me just get it for real. Because you don't know God. That's why you follow stuff that's not of God. You heard what I say. You don't know God. So since you don't know God, you follow anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because you don't know God. When you know God for real, you spend time with God, you'll say, that ain't God. And hold on. Hold on. Let me, I'm going to say this again. I don't know why, because I hear it in the spirit. We don't hate nobody. I'm not bashing nobody. It don't matter if it's me. No one gets a pass. No one. Not you, not me, not no one. We got to walk this thing for real. Especially if you say you're a household of faith. Because sooner or later, God going to expose you anyway. And, and God, let me tell you how good God is. God will tell you, stop playing with me. He'll tell you to you. He'll tell them, stop playing with me. And they think it's the devil because they don't know God's voice. You hear what I just said? They don't know God. So they think it's the devil. Everything ain't the devil. As a matter of fact, sometimes God used the devil to show you. You. <laughs> they ain't got that one. Sometimes God used the devil to show you you. I'm going to let him do what he do to you. So I can show you who you really are. Thank you, Lord. Let me tell you why God got me doing this video. Because some of you going to get hit. Because you're girding stuff. That's not of God. That's just like, okay, let me give you an example. Let's say I knew a man of God that was not real. And I get up here. Y'all go, y'all go see him. Y'all, y'all go listen to him. Don't you know the same sins that he partakes in? That God going to hold me accountable to because he said you girded it. They ain't ready, God. They, they, they ain't ready. God said, you girded it. And you knew better. We're not supposed to gird each other in sin or error. Period. We, it don't matter if me or you. You're wrong. You're wrong. Now, what we're supposed to do is love each other back to life. 
So I want y'all to I want to get a clarification. I'm not bashing nobody. Don't be don't be doing all that. Y'all gonna see what y'all wanna say anyway. I get that, but I'm just saying. Prophets are not bold anymore. They're too scared that y'all not gonna follow them. I don't care. I'm gonna say what God say. Cause I don't know when God gonna call me home. But one thing I'm not gonna do. Is be worried about y'all and miss God. Oh, come on, somebody. I just say something. Because that's what's going on. Most people worried about people and not worried about God. How God view you. What God say. Love man more than God. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying today? Com commercialization. N n notice how they have the... Notice, and I've never had a flyer like that. Go look at all my flyers. I'm going to show y'all. Look how they do on their flyers. You a star servant. A model also. Get out of here. <sighs> y'all done went too far. Ooh, y'all done went too far. I'm telling you, man. I'm scared. I feel it. Like earlier in that first video I did, I literally was about to just break down and cry. God said, you can't cry on live like that. I felt the power of God. I felt, I know what's getting ready. People getting ready to die. And people think it's a game. And most of them have a reprobate mind. They can't even hear or see God. Samson, when he was in this thing with Delilah, the, the Bible says that he didn't even know God had loved him. <sighs> Lord. And I truly believe that that's why God allowed his eyes to get God's thought, which I hated. Because then he repented. And, and he, he, he did his hands between the pillars. And he said, God, use me one more time, one last time. He didn't have to ask to die, but I think he was, I think he was shamed. Because he didn't have to ask to die. He said, let me die with him. Because he felt guilty, he felt shame. That's why God sends prophets, not to try to hurt you, so that you might feel shame and go to God. It's not about the prophet, it's not about the people. Go to God, people. Repent to God. Ask God to help you. You heard me. So, that's all I got to say. I'm getting up off of here. I think this is the last one. Because <laughs> uh, I've been one-on-one -on -one all day long. All day long. And God is not playing. God, God is... <sighs> God still got his hand out saying, Repent. Come to me. Give me your whole heart. Surrender. Touch not the unclean thing. Temptation is always going to be part of our lives, God says. But he, but he says in James chapter 1, he says, But you're drawn away by your own sins, your own enticement. It's not God telling us to go after these things. It's what's been in us the whole while. And you want to know what did it, that television? As little girls and little boys, we saw, I don't want to be like them. And we commenced our life trying to be like this one and that one. Oh, they, they did us good. Tell a lie vision. They lied to us. People of God. And this, again, I'm not trying to bash nobody. That's not my spirit. Please hear my spirit. Let's return to God with a whole heart. And if you don't know how to do it, ask God to help you. And God will send some real brothers and sisters that will pray with you, but will call you out too. You see, a real Christian, they're going to hold you up to accountability. The same thing God do. See, a lot of people say, well, God is a God of love. He is. But I tell you, God is a God of order first. Read your Bible if you don't believe me. So, oh God, I love y'all. I love y'all. I ain't lying. But a lot is coming. A lot is coming. It really is. And the body of Christ is not prepared. They're not prepared. Mm -mm. Because what they did, and I'm just going to have to say it, they lifted up the wrong famous leaders. Mm, there it is. And I love them. I mean, they could preach a little bit. They just not anoint it. Isn't that what takes the anointing? Isn't that what breaks the yoke? They ain't ready for me, Lord. Oh Lord, I'm going here. A lot of gospel artists. They're not anointed. I can name about maybe five on my hand in this day. I listen to more of the Shekinah Glory. I, I listen to old stuff. This new generation not anointed. They could sing. They could sing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the use if it's not going to break nothing? If it's not going to make you want to go to God, if it's not going to make you want to repent, <laughs> I don't get it. Maybe I'm not supposed to. I don't get it. I mean, it sounds good. 
But at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, you need the anointing. Because that's when the enemy comes. When you're alone by yourself. And if you ain't got nothing in you, how you going to fight him? Excuse me. So God said, watch what you allow to come in you and out of you, said the God, said the Lord. So, all right, you guys. That's all God said. So, I'm, I'm finished. God bless you. God keep you. Share this because this is some real stuff God's saying today. It's real, you guys. All right. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.